Hey folks, got another Clean Water Systems uh, instructional video for you today. Uh, today we're going to show you how to go ahead and change your uh, UV bulb in your uh, ultraviolet uh, assembly. Um, again, you want to do this every year, even though your light's still on and everything's working, uh, these bulbs do um, polarize, a, a polarize after a while and uh, they lose their efficiency. So even though the light's on, you're not killing the bacteria you think you are. So uh, we recommend always having a bulb on hand and a replacement sleeve, just in case you were to break it. Um, so uh, anyway, let's get started. First thing we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and plug our power supply. And then we're gonna go ahead, put our bypass on. Vent the system down so the pressure is off of here. Then we'll go ahead and close this, open our bypass. So we still have water in the house, but this system has been uh, depressurized. Okay, if we had the room or a smaller system, we would actually be able to do this in place and leave the housing in place. Unfortunately, we didn't have the real estate here for this kind of setup. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the housing, switch the bulb out, clean the uh, cord sleeve, reinstall it and bring it back and, re and put it back on the wall. Okay, we'll go ahead and loosen up our flex line fittings here. And we'll go ahead and unclip our clips here. Then we'll go ahead and take this over and put it on our bench. Okay, so we've got our unit uh, back on the bench here. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, pull the tube out and uh, get a little close up there and show you how to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the other end, which is the dust cap end. And again, remove that o-ring. And then we'll carefully remove. You want to go ahead and inspect this tube. Uh, cleaning it, uh, use a, a citric acid with warm water, or you can use a vinegar-based uh, solution. And you want to go ahead and clean the inside and outside using a soft, clean cloth, like a t-shirt material. And you want to make sure you don't have any kind of smudges on here because if you do, uh, it will affect your UV light uh, performance. So go ahead and give it a good inspection. Um, go ahead and inspect your O-rings. Uh, there again, we recommend you have a spare one of these on hand uh, just in case uh, anything ever happens. Okay, once you have your uh, quartz tube clean, we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. Uh, here in the shop, we actually use a wooden dowel to reinstall these. So go ahead and place your wooden dowel inside your quartz tube. And you'll go ahead and slide it into your unit. And this dowel is kind of nice because it just kind of helps you guide that tube into place. Especially on these larger tanks. Ah, there we go. So right now we've got about half an inch of the tube sticking out of both ends. Okay, and we want to go ahead and do a good inspection of your O-rings here. Uh, again, uh, if they look uh, worn or frayed, go ahead and replace them. And then what you're going to want to do is just put this O-ring down over the tube. Be careful not to pull it too far out. Okay, and so you've got your O-ring on that end, and 
carefully. Slide it around and put your O-ring on the other end. And again, you kind of want about the same amount of thing there. Okay, so this is our inlet end that has our uh, flow restrictor on it. So we're going to go ahead and place the fitting for the uh, power supply that goes in. Again, these seal up against this O-ring here. This is what holds your water in. There's no lube required, no thread tape. You just put it on there hand tight. So just snug that guy up. And then this is our dust cap end. Go ahead, put that on hand tight. Okay. All right. So now we have our quartz tube in place. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is install a new bulb. Again, using gloves, you don't want to get your fingerprints on here. And inspect your bulb. You'll have these two wires here sticking out. We'll just go ahead and install there, that right in there. <clears throat> Take your power supply. You'll have your four-prong plug here. Just go ahead and plug that guy into this. And we're going to reseat this back into the unit. Now again, this set screw right here comes into this little groove. So what you want to do is you want to push this piece all the way in so there's no gap here and then tighten down your set screw screw. That holds that in. Okay? And then you can go ahead and snug that back up if you need to in order to get to that set screw. Just hand tight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our unit now that we have our new uh, bulb installed and uh, have cleaned our quartz tube. So again, this particular one has the plastic snap-on uh, units. So you may have uh, the metal ones with the uh, little clamp nut. So. Got our inlet end here with their flow control uh, orifice here, so we're going to go ahead and put our inlet flex line back on and our outlet flex line back on. And we'll go ahead and just snug these guys up. Again, these have rubber seals in them so you don't need to over tighten it. Tighten these up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close our bypass now and reintroduce water pressure to this. Do a leak check. Again, go slow when you're bringing this up. Uh, you can break that quartz tube if you uh, bring the water pressure up too fast. So go ahead and bring your water pressure up. Do a leak check. If you need to snug these guys up a little more, you can. If you got a little leak there, again, these are hand tight, no lube, nothing on them. Everything looks good here. Now we'll go ahead and plug our uh, power supply in. And as you can see, our power supply has the green light. That means everything's working. If your uh, tube uh, was some sort of problem with your connection with your tube or your tube or your ballast, uh, this light will be red and give you a, a, a loud noise, a very, very uh, irritating noise. Um, so anyway, it looks like we're good there. And then one other thing you can do is you can remove just this little plastic black cap that's in the end of the plug, not the plug itself, and you can kind of peel that back 
Don't stare at it for too long, but you can see the UV light in there that your unit is working. Um, okay, that's uh, all for today, uh, how to change the bulb out in your UV system. Uh, have a good day.